As humans, we depend on oxygen to survive. Oxygen is carried by red blood cells from the lungs to the rest of the body, where it is used for energy production. When the levels of oxygen in our blood drop below normal levels, it can cause serious health problems. Low oxygen levels in the blood, also known as hypoxemia, can occur due to a variety of reasons, including lung disease, heart disease, anemia, and other medical conditions. Recognizing the symptoms of low oxygen levels is crucial, as it can lead to prompt treatment and prevent further complications. In this video, we will discuss in detail the symptoms of low oxygen levels in your blood, the causes of hypoxemia, and when to seek medical attention. We will also explore the diagnosis and treatment options available for low oxygen levels. Understanding the causes and symptoms of low oxygen levels can help you take the necessary steps to maintain your health and well-being. Whether you are experiencing shortness of breath, fatigue, or other symptoms, recognizing the underlying cause and seeking medical attention can help prevent further complications and improve your quality of life. By the end of this video, you will have a better understanding of the symptoms of low oxygen levels and how to recognize when to seek medical attention. Oxygen saturation levels are the amount of oxygen that is being carried by the red blood cells in your body. This is commonly referred to as your SpO2 or oxygen saturation level. It is a measure of the percentage of hemoglobin in your blood that is carrying oxygen. The normal oxygen saturation level for a healthy individual is between 95 to 100 percent. The body requires oxygen to function properly, and our lungs are responsible for delivering oxygen to our blood. In normal conditions, when we inhale air, it passes through our lungs, where the oxygen is absorbed into the bloodstream. The red blood cells then carry the oxygen to the body's tissues and organs, where it is used to produce energy. A healthy individual should have an oxygen saturation level of at least 95%. Anything below this level indicates that the body is not receiving enough oxygen, which can have serious health consequences. Low oxygen levels, or hypoxemia, occur when the oxygen saturation level in the blood falls below the normal range. This means that the body is not receiving enough oxygen to function properly. Low oxygen levels can be caused by a variety of factors, including lung-related issues such as chronic obstructive pulmonary disease COPD, or pneumonia, heart-related issues such as heart failure or heart attack, blood-related issues such as anemia, and other factors such as high altitude or carbon monoxide poisoning. The symptoms of low oxygen levels can be mild to severe, and can impact a person's daily activities and quality of life. It is important to recognize the symptoms of low oxygen levels and seek medical attention if necessary. Low oxygen levels in the blood can be caused by a variety of factors. Understanding the underlying causes is important in order to properly diagnose and treat the condition. The following are the most common causes of low oxygen levels in the blood. 1. Lung-related causes. Chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, COPD. This is a group of lung diseases, including emphysema and chronic bronchitis, that make it difficult to breathe. The damaged airways in the lungs reduce the amount of oxygen that can be absorbed into the blood. Asthma. Asthma is a chronic inflammatory disease of the airways that causes them to narrow, making it difficult to breathe. This can lead to low oxygen levels in the blood. Pneumonia. This is an infection that inflames the air sacs in the lungs. The inflammation can cause fluid to build up, reducing the amount of oxygen that can be absorbed into the blood. Pulmonary embolism. This is a blockage in one of the pulmonary arteries, which are the blood vessels that carry blood from the heart to the lungs. The blockage can prevent oxygen from being delivered to the blood. 2. Heart-related causes. Congestive heart failure, CHF. This is a condition in which the heart is unable to pump enough blood to meet the body's needs. This can lead to a buildup of fluid in the lungs, which can reduce the amount of oxygen that can be absorbed into the blood. Coronary artery disease. This is a condition in which the arteries that supply blood to the heart become narrowed or blocked, reducing the amount of oxygen that can be delivered to the heart. Heart attack. A heart attack occurs when the blood flow to a part of the heart is blocked, leading to damage to the heart muscle. This can reduce the amount of oxygen that can be delivered to the body. 3. Blood-related causes. Anemia. 
Anemia is a condition in which there are not enough red blood cells in the body, or the red blood cells do not contain enough hemoglobin, which is the protein that carries oxygen in the blood. This can lead to low oxygen levels in the blood. Carbon monoxide poisoning. Carbon monoxide is a gas that is produced by the incomplete burning of fuels. When inhaled, it binds to hemoglobin in the blood, preventing it from carrying oxygen. Methemoglobinemia. This is a condition in which there is an abnormal form of hemoglobin in the blood, which is unable to carry oxygen effectively. 4. Other causes. High altitude. At higher altitudes, the air pressure is lower, which can reduce the amount of oxygen that can be absorbed into the blood. Sleep apnea. This is a condition in which a person's breathing is repeatedly interrupted during sleep, leading to low oxygen levels in the blood. Obesity. Excess body weight can put pressure on the lungs and chest wall, making it more difficult to breathe and leading to low oxygen levels in the blood. It is important to note that these causes can often be interrelated, and a person may have more than one underlying condition contributing to low oxygen levels in the blood. Proper diagnosis and treatment by a healthcare professional is necessary to identify the underlying cause and develop an effective treatment plan. Hypoxemia can cause a wide range of symptoms that vary depending on the severity of the condition and the underlying cause. It is important to be aware of these symptoms, as they can help you recognize when your body is not getting enough oxygen. General symptoms of low oxygen levels. Shortness of breath. Shortness of breath is one of the most common symptoms of low oxygen levels. It is the feeling that you cannot catch your breath, even when you are not physically active. Fatigue. Fatigue is another common symptom of low oxygen levels. You may feel tired or weak, even after getting enough sleep. Confusion. When your brain is not getting enough oxygen, you may feel confused or disoriented. You may have trouble concentrating or making decisions. Headache. A headache can be a symptom of low oxygen levels. It may feel like a dull ache or a throbbing pain. Rapid heartbeat. Your heart may beat faster than usual when your body is not getting enough oxygen. This is a natural response to try to increase the flow of oxygen to your organs. Symptoms related to the respiratory system. Wheezing. Wheezing is a high-pitched sound that is often heard when you breathe. It can be a symptom of low oxygen levels, as well as other respiratory conditions. Coughing. A persistent cough can be a symptom of low oxygen levels. It may be dry or produce phlegm. Chest pain. Chest pain can be a symptom of low oxygen levels. It may feel like a tightness or pressure in your chest. Cyanosis. Cyanosis is a bluish tint to the skin, lips, or nails. It can be a sign that your body is not getting enough oxygen. Symptoms related to the cardiovascular system. Rapid breathing. When your body is not getting enough oxygen, you may breathe faster than usual. This is a natural response to try to increase the flow of oxygen to your organs. Swelling. Swelling in your feet, ankles, or legs can be a symptom of low oxygen levels. This is because your body is retaining fluid as a result of the low oxygen levels. Regular heartbeat. Your heart may beat irregularly when your body is not getting enough oxygen. This can be a serious symptom and should be evaluated by a medical professional. Symptoms related to the nervous system. Restlessness. Restlessness is a symptom of low oxygen levels. You may feel like you cannot sit still or concentrate on anything. Anxiety. Anxiety is another symptom of low oxygen levels. You may feel worried or uneasy, even if there is no apparent reason. Dizziness. Dizziness can be a symptom of low oxygen levels. You may feel lightheaded or like you are going to pass out. Symptoms related to the skin and nails. Blue lips or fingernails. Blue lips or fingernails can be a symptom of low oxygen levels. This is because the body is not getting enough oxygen, and the skin may turn a bluish color. Cool skin. Cool skin can be a symptom of low oxygen levels. Your skin may feel cold to the touch, even in warm environments. Clubbing. Clubbing is a condition where the fingertips and nails become enlarged and round. It can be a sign of low oxygen levels, as well as other respiratory and cardiovascular conditions. Low oxygen levels in the blood can lead to serious health complications if left untreated. 
Therefore, it is crucial to seek medical attention as soon as possible if you are experiencing symptoms of low oxygen levels. In this section, we will discuss when to seek immediate medical attention and when to schedule a doctor's appointment. If you are experiencing severe symptoms of low oxygen levels, it is important to seek immediate medical attention. These symptoms may include shortness of breath that is worsening or not improving with rest, rapid breathing or difficulty breathing, including wheezing or gasping for air, confusion or disorientation, chest pain or pressure, bluish lips, fingers, or nails, rapid heart rate or irregular heartbeat, fainting or losing consciousness. If you or someone you know is experiencing any of these symptoms, call 911 or go to the nearest emergency room right away. If you are experiencing mild to moderate symptoms of low oxygen levels, you should schedule a doctor's appointment as soon as possible. These symptoms may include feeling tired or weak, headache, dizziness or lightheadedness, difficulty concentrating, rapid breathing or shortness of breath with activity, chest tightness or discomfort, rapid heartbeat or palpitations. It is important to note that some people may not experience any symptoms of low oxygen levels, but still have low oxygen saturation levels. If you have a medical condition that puts you at risk for low oxygen levels, such as chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, COPD, pulmonary fibrosis, or heart failure, it is important to have regular checkups with your doctor to monitor your oxygen levels. During your doctor's appointment, your doctor will likely perform a physical exam, check your oxygen saturation levels with a pulse oximeter, and may order additional tests, such as a chest x-ray or blood tests. If your doctor determines that you have low oxygen levels, they will discuss treatment options with you. Treatment may include supplemental oxygen therapy, medication, pulmonary rehabilitation, or surgery, depending on the underlying cause of your low oxygen levels. It is important to follow your doctor's advice and treatment plan to manage low oxygen levels and prevent complications. Low oxygen levels can be diagnosed through a test called arterial blood gas ABG, analysis. This test involves taking a sample of blood from an artery, usually in the wrist, and measuring the levels of oxygen and carbon dioxide in the blood. This test can also measure the acidity levels in the blood and help diagnose the underlying cause of low oxygen levels. Another test that can be used to diagnose low oxygen levels is pulse oximetry. This test involves attaching a small device, called a pulse oximeter, to the finger or earlobe. The device uses light to measure the oxygen saturation levels in the blood. This test is less invasive than ABG analysis and can be done quickly and easily. The treatment for low oxygen levels depends on the underlying cause. In some cases, the underlying condition can be treated, which can help improve oxygen levels. For example, if the cause of low oxygen levels is asthma, treatment may involve using inhalers or other medications to help manage the condition. If the cause of low oxygen levels is related to the lungs, supplemental oxygen therapy may be necessary. Oxygen can be delivered through a nasal cannula or a mask, and the amount of oxygen needed will depend on the severity of the low oxygen levels. In more severe cases, hospitalization may be necessary to receive more advanced treatments, such as mechanical ventilation or extracorporeal membrane oxygenation ECMO. These treatments involve using machines to help support breathing and oxygenation of the blood. It is important to follow the advice of medical professionals when it comes to diagnosing and treating low oxygen levels. Delaying treatment or not following medical advice can lead to serious complications and even death. In addition to medical treatment, there are lifestyle changes that can help improve oxygen levels, such as quitting smoking, exercising regularly, and maintaining a healthy diet. It is important to make these changes in consultation with a healthcare provider. In conclusion, low oxygen levels in the blood can cause a range of symptoms that can affect the respiratory, cardiovascular, nervous, and skin systems. Some common symptoms include shortness of breath, rapid breathing, chest pain, confusion, and bluish skin or nails. It is important to recognize these symptoms and seek medical attention promptly if they occur. Delaying treatment or ignoring the symptoms can lead to serious complications, including organ damage and even death. If you are experiencing symptoms of low oxygen levels, it is important to schedule an appointment with your healthcare provider.
they can perform tests to diagnose the underlying cause and recommend appropriate treatments. Thank you for watching this video on the symptoms of low oxygen levels in your blood. At Healthy Lifestyle Tips, we believe that awareness and education are essential for promoting a healthy lifestyle. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe to our channel for more informative content. And as always, please consult with your healthcare provider before making any changes to your health routine.